Okay, we're getting ready to stitch out Pearl, and I want to pull her up in the Brother Luminaire. I'm gonna go to the Pocket for Memory, and I sent it over wirelessly. I use the Embrilliance Essentials Utility to send it over wirelessly, and there it is right there, and set. And I need to add in the chick feet. And I just figured out how to do this. Very proud of myself. I'm going to touch add for the memory. And I'm going to use these feet right here. And then set. And I'm going to touch them on the screen and move them down here underneath the chick. Get a little bigger. Take the hand and move it. And I want to pull them down just, oh, I want to pull them down by just like a stitch. And then I might rotate them just a little bit and rotate by just there. I just want to make sure this last leg right here gets up underneath that chick. Well, if you look in the stitch order, if I get out of the edit, if you look at the stitch order, we have the chicken and then the feet for the chick. I need the feet for the chick to stitch first so that they're up under the body. And in order to do that, you can go into edit. And right down here at the bottom of the uh, menu, there's three little boxes and an icon and it allows you to change the stitch order. And I want whatever's last to be first. So I want to jump it all the way. You can jump it up one or jump it up two. See, now it moved the feet first and then the chicken, which is great. I love that. I'm going to tell it okay. And I'm, I am going to go into move again on those. Make sure the feet are highlighted. I'm going to nudge them up just a tiny bit there. I feel better with that. I'm going to tell it okay. Now I'm going to go um, back to 100 that looks really good, and I'm gonna go to embroidery. I want to move this pattern as high up on my hoop as I can so that I'll uh, maximize the use of fabric. So I'm going to go to layout and move, and I'm gonna go up as much as I can. That's pretty good, because I can see the black box right up here. And I think that that will work okay. Let me tell it okay. Let me do a trace and trace. That's pretty good. Last time I had a lot of fabric up here because I centered it in the hoop and I don't need to center it in the hoop. So I can see by the trace, it's gonna stitch just fine in here. That's great. Tell it okay. I like it. The button is green, my uh, my light brown thread is in there. I'm gonna use that throughout, except for the blue and the eyes with the name. Oh, I forgot to put the name. If you forget, go to return. And I want to add font. That's the one I'm using. And touch the P. Go to medium, lowercase, E. A R L and I think tell it set and I want that maybe right there that looks good embroidery I like to stitch this in the needle plus minus mode so that I can jump over that next stitch because I'm not going to stitch the tack down.
jump over the tack down. Now it's time for the blanket stitch. Okay guys, she's all done. I think she came out great. I just love it. All right, all finished. We'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.